when I first kind of came about the opportunity, really through the Deutsche Bank Cure Leukemia Partnership, um, you know, I, I kind of just initially was interested from, you know, doing the traditional, we have this thing called Deutsche Bike, um, and we, you know, do it with our, our charity partners, which were Cure Leukemia back in uh, 2018 and 2019. And, you know, I, I just heard about this challenge and I thought, wow, you know, the charity is doing such an amazing, amazing work. I saw at the bottom of our corporate responsibility email one day, do you want to ride the Tour de France? And I was like, yes, that would be amazing. Like it's something kind of from a personal perspective I want to do. It's also just such an amazing cause, you know, like, you know, I've done a lot of kind of the kind of internal like fundraising stuff with Cure Leukemia aside from the, the Deutsche Bike Ride. And then, um, you know, found that, got to meet Jeff, really inspired by it. And obviously we were meant to do it in 2020, but that got canceled due to COVID and, and everything. So, you know, I think the excitement has really been building um, for, you know, a good 18 months now. I'm super pumped. I'm, I'm hoping that we can meet our fundraising goal. I'm pretty confident we can, you know, and there's a lot of momentum behind us. And this year is just, it's so exciting. You know, I'm obviously a bit nervous. It's a massive physical undertaking that I hope I could be ready for. But, you know, every day when I have to train, I think about all of the people who, you know, are fighting for their lives and who we can help and, and, you know, keep all of the, you know, expanding the TAP network and funding the clinical trials. What we're doing is, is you know, pales in comparison to the people who are really fighting to stay alive. As a, a Deutsche Bank employee, how proud are you to sort of see how the Charity of the Year partnership has had such a big impact on cure leukemia? So I joined DB in London in the end of 2017. So basically at the start it would have been of the Cure Leukemia Partnership. And it, it, it's absolutely amazing, you know, just the amount that the, just general employees on the floor kind of got involved. Like people were always like, okay, I'm gonna do this, the half, this half marathon and it's with Cure Leukemia. I think we raised over 2 million pounds um, for, for Cure Leukemia in that two year partnership. Um, you know, absolutely incredible. And then to be able to parlay that into getting five of us onto the, um, you know, the tour 21 team and hopefully raising, um, amongst us, at least, you know, another 150,000 to 200,000 from those five is it's, it's really incredible. And, and something I'm, I'm really excited to boast about in terms of being a DB employee. With the actual Tour de France challenge itself, what are you most looking forward to? I think it'll be the sense of accomplishment when it's over, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's going to be tough. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to kind of, there's something about like being out all day, um, potentially in bad conditions um, and really pushing yourself to that limit with other people who are going through the exact same thing. And that camaraderie that I think is going to be fostered like on the team bus, like at the end of the stage, heading back to, and I don't know when that, when this specific stage will be, but usually on these kinds of trips, there is usually one day that really bonds the whole team. And I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, so far I, I, I've met a lot of the guys from last year when we obviously did our meet in January up in Birmingham. Um, but a lot of people I haven't met and I've only talked to on Zoom on our rides, but everyone is really lovely and really excited about the cause. So I think there will be some fun banter on the bus and team bonding and, you know, it'll be nice to see that. And just finally, Sarah, what, what would you say to a female cyclist out there watching this? What would you say to encourage them to, to believe that they can take part in something like this? Oh, my future? God, just do it. You can. Like, absolutely. Like I like, you don't have to be an athlete. Like I know I have an athletic background, but like you, you and like you can ride a bike. If you can ride a bike, if you can ride a Santander bike around, you know, the local park or something, you can absolutely do this. It's all about putting your mind to it. I've seen people go from couch potato and never having run a 5K to having done an Ironman in the space of six months. The Tour de France, slightly different challenge, but all you, it's just training. 
you just have to cut out, you have to set your mind to it, cut out the space and just put in a plan and execute it and that, and do it. And, and you can, anyone can, you know, it, it's, it's just about believing in yourself.